Hey, what's up, guys? I'm gonna film my Plano tackle box and what I got inside of it and my fishing pole. Alright. I'm gonna try to make this short and sweet, too. Alright. In here, I have some laser sharp hooks. Perfect for Texas rigging. I always catch, I always set the hook easier on this hook. Got it. Same kind of hook a little bit. Just doesn't, this piece right here doesn't go in a little more. But. The same for Texas Rigging. Then I have some three 16th ounce weights. These are amazing. They work very well. Then I got a black size 12 swivel. Um, I used to use gold until I picked these up and I started catching more bass on these. It's kind of weird though. I guess they like black more. Then I have a pocket knife with me. Kershaw. Made in the USA. So Kershaw makes really good knives. And the reason why I like this is because if I accidentally throw my lure up in a bush and I can't get it out, that will cut it instead of this flat part. Extremely sharp. Always good to have a knife with you. Alright, I'm going to take you inside the tackle box. Alright. Inside. Gary Yamamoto hula grubs are amazing. Can't get it open. Well, these aren't the hula grubs. But these are the Senko worms. Watermelon on Black Flake always works. Green Pumpkin works. That was just a newer bag. This is an older bag. Worked really well. Here's the hula grubs. These things are terrific. Always catch bass on them. Every, like every other cast, you'll be catching something. Got your yum. More. I'm going to use that around a dam or something. Got your salty lizards, I zoom. These work in heavy cover areas. Then the bush hog by zoom is extremely good. As you can see, I got it on sale. Then I was just walking around in Gander and I found these watermelon on black. I mean, what, green pumpkin and watermelon mixed together. Then I have cold brick. Seven and a half motor oil shad. These things work amazing. Prefer pick it up, and it comes with 18 worms. Then you got your gold minnows. These are uh, very good. Work for bass and for crappy, really good. Just with a knuckleball jig. And then 195 piece Cabela's worm bucket works very well. Um. 16 bucks, I, I, I couldn't beat it. I had to get it. Then I have some Fireline 14 pound original fused braid. Works like magic. It's my emergency line just in case that comes out. And I was fishing one day and I found this. I said, hey, that guy just left it. I don't think he's coming back. And, um, took it, 6 pound, but test doesn't matter, it's the fisherman that uses it. Any anybody could catch a big fish on six pound line. Then some shad F2 yum. Works amazingly. Really recommend all the stuff I'm showing you. Especially, especially, especially them hula grubs. Those are the best baits I got in here right now. Out of my full tack box, I think. Gary Yamamoto is just like really, really good. Yeah, was gonna do fishing today, but no, not allowed. Which sucks. Now I'm getting into here. I got some Rapala, some bombers, the shallow one right there. Very, very well. More bombers, Rapala double jointed. Um, 
Shad Rat. And I got that at Cabela's. Very, very nice. Extremely well. And everybody should know what these are. Bill Dance, Dancing Eels. These things are crazy. I got all three sizes. And over here, haven't really cast that out yet. A guy gave it to me, and he said he's caught bass on it. And that one I usually catch bluegill and perch on. So, I rarely use that one. Then I got some spinner baits. Most of this is bullyah and strike king. Some jigs. Now, strike king jigs are amazing, and so are bullyahs. They work really well, and so are their buzz baits. They got a strike king black buzz bait and a bullyah purple buzz bait. Buzz baits are really good in the morning, too. And I got all my poppers. Got a jitterbug. A whole bunch of poppers right here. And then, these things are very expensive. That's why I don't have much bronzy frog. And they work in really thick cover areas. And, they're really good. Now, moving on to my reel. Garden reel. It's a Cardinal 100 and same but a do real. As you can tell, I got that fire line. And it looks like a four pound line. It's insane. It's just crazy. And then I'm, I had Boyoff White Shad spinnerbait on it. And then I added the tail from that bass bucket. And that works very well. And I didn't even think about it when I cast it out. It just attracts the bass because of those grooves and it creates vibration. The extra vibration, it's just amazing. And the white shadow alone is just amazing. And Booyah and Strike King are amazing. This is like a. It's just. Oh my god. And then Plano. Plano, always the best. And that's it for now. Just comment. I don't care what you say. It's just comment. If you want me to do a segment on something, just comment that too. And I'll try to get it on a video. Alright. Peace.